Hi family, this is uh, Will. Reducing the daily balance at least once, and then 
as you take out those excuses, the daily balances, the daily amounts, um, daily, average daily balance would rise and fall. And as a result of that, it's calculated at different rates. Um, if we scroll right here at the bottom, for a loan of 6653 the average dollar amount that's being charged is $4.46. On my other card that I'm using in Velocity Banking, I'm only paying, well, I'm paying 92 cents. So that's offsetting the other card in general to help you reduce the um, average daily balance, ADB. ADB. Yeah, ADB, average daily balance. Okay, so now that I've taken this 3300 and place it on the card. Now, again, I do get paid five weekly, but for this example, I'm just saying that I have, um, already have all of the income. So 3,300. So that's going to bring down my balance to $3,353. Now that's down from the 6,000. 653. So every day that the bank calculates my average daily balance, it's going up and it's going down, but it's giving me some savings because I threw on this entire um, amount for my expenses. So that's giving me some savings as well. Now we want to start adding back the expenses. So that means the average daily balance will start to rise. So here I'm putting in 400 of the average daily balance back into the car, and then that gives up gives me 3,753. Now although it's going back up, it's still okay because I lowered my ADP that helps me with the interest. Now I'm adding the 2280 into the expenses also. Now I'm saying 2280 because when I made that first deposit, one of the expenses that was inside of here was this amount with a monthly um, charge of 220. So I'm dropping the 220 from here and making it 2280 because I'm making a payment all the month. That's good. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. Um, and that's helping to reduce the interest and you're making your first payment. Next, we want to look at, I have to put in another 400, which is a daily expenses right here. Well, it's, it's already in here, but this was the expectation that it was paid at some time. And along here, these are just some of the dates that I just kind of like go in there to say, okay, um, pay the particular bills on this particular day. Then I pay the bills here on this particular day. And then I bring, pay the bills here on this particular day. So the average daily balance is going to rise and it's going to fall. But the main thing is that getting in, you're getting in your expenses inside of the credit card to help bring down the average daily balance every month versus making that monthly one payment and walking away. Now you can make an extra to the principal also and it, it can do just about the same thing. Um, but the process that I'm going through with the velocity of banking, I just wanted to work with it, see how it works because I have a bigger project that I want to work with and that is the um, $144,000 that I'm carrying in mortgages will help me to understand more velocity banking and trying to refi the property and um, not getting to another 30 year, but getting to a um, product that's similar to um, this that's called a HELOC. Um, so at the end, it appears that the balance would be $643.33. So I'm saving on some of the interest as an average daily balance versus letting this $6,653 go for a full 28 days of um, February, which we're working on now. Um, again, this is just kind of like from my February budget. 
Um, these are some estimates. Um, but the thing that I'm doing now with Velocity Banking versus letting my money sitting in a savings account or a checking account, I'm putting everything on the card. And as a result of being on the card, it's reducing my average daily balance. Um, one hiccup that I did run into, um, I did need some extra cash or maybe I got just overexcited and put too much on the card. So I had to go back and get a cash advance off the card um, to have some cash. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna make that mistake um, next month, but um, I was just happy and I may have just put too much too much on, on the card. Um, but again, um, my name is uh, Will, AKA Dr. Financial Literacy. And I'm here to help you to try to understand the lot city banking and how it can work with you. Today I wanted to discuss if you have to go in and alone without a husband, a spouse, a wife, a partner, a friend, boyfriend, just do it. Just start it. Um, don't, you don't have to necessarily place all of your expenses like I did on two of the cars. You can save $200 to $300 outside of it um, until you get comfortable um, with it. But um, yeah, look at Velocity Banking, look at the potential. You have my number. Um, you have my email. If you have any um, questions, email me, or you can type any type of um, comments at the bottom that I can look at and try to improve. Um, continue to be blessed. Um, I hopefully continue to be a blessing to you, and you have a great day. Bye-bye, everyone. Oh, no, I'm sorry. And let's um, weekly. I also just wanted to show uh, with um, – the Excel sheet. So I also have this in Excel sheet um, also and how it is kind of playing out a little bit for me. So this is the Excel sheet that I'm using and it has some information um, about the um, average daily balance. Let me see. Scroll this up. Okay. Um, so to my left, um, just using this as in if I just simply made a regular one-time payment on the credit card for the month of February, then And um, my interest may be $125.54. Now to the right is where you can see I've um, got different color coatings in it. That's showing here is um, at $1860. Um, I'm using the Navy Federal Cash Advance to reduce the daily balance and the save interest. Uh, then recently here, I got paid um, 1942 and put that onto um, the card to reduce the daily balance. So that in itself right there is about $4,000. And I'm going to start taking out my expenses in the red. Um, I don't have the rent in here. I've kept that outside of it. And these are the utilities, the daily, the monthly, that's in here that I can put on the card. Um, so I am keeping track of it on an Excel sheet in a little bit different format. All right, well, uh, thank you very much again for um, uh, stopping by and I hope everyone have a um, great day. Bye-bye.